two superb musicians, um, it, both in their own rights, obviously played with different collaborations, bands, duos, and so on in the past. Um, Whippersnapper, um, Ishkadua, Car uh, Karen with the Pooses, and uh, and so on, and Roger Wilson, and all the rest of it, as you as you know, I'm sure. But it's great that they're here together tonight. So please give a huge, warm welcome to Karen Tweed and Kevin Dempsey. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's a lovely Karen Tweed there. Fantastic, eh? Brilliant. So uh, we're going to carry on now. Well, she's just as well. We've just come on, haven't we? So uh, <laughs> we carry on for a bit. This is uh, 
a traditional song that when I learnt it, I thought it was uh, an Irish song. And I played it somewhere and I introduced it as an Irish traditional song. And one of the uh, folk police uh, got me after the gig and said, it's, uh, it's actually not, not an Irish song, it's from Scotland. So anyway, so I introduced it as a song from Scotland and then again, another member of the folk police got me and told me it's actually an English song. It's from the, I've been told anyway, so it's from the northeast of England. So I, I don't know anymore. So I, nobody's told me it's from Wales. So, but anyway, I'll just say it's a, a British traditional folk song. And it's called I Know My Love. And uh, it goes exactly like you're gonna hear it tonight. Exactly. people just come in brilliant we'll start again okay so no no we won't uh, so I'm just gonna give you one on my own now uh, it's just that time of the set so I'm gonna play you a, and this is an American 
a traditional song. No, it really is. This is not from Scotland or anything. This is a uh, genuine... <laughs> hard to believe that uh, the Americans have got... Are there any Americans in? No, I thought, all right, good. Uh, so this is an American traditional folk song, and uh, it's called Wicked Polly. And it, it's a... Uh, what do they say? It's like a cautionary tale. It's... Uh, kind of tells you not to enjoy yourself. You mustn't enjoy yourself, whatever happens, uh, especially if you're young, because awful things will happen to you if you do, as does happen to uh, Wicked Polly in this song. It's got nothing to do with uh, Polly from Ludlow, if any of you know her. She's pretty wicked, but it's, it's not her. And one of the things that attracted me to this song was uh, the fact that it is the oldest uh, collected American folk song. It's the, this is actually it. This is the oldest one they've got, this one. And uh, it was collected in uh, 1963. That was the joke, actually. No, I don't know when it was collected, but it's, it is the oldest one they've got. And uh, Wicked Polly, so here we go. Any guitarists in there, don't buy your strings from Aldi. They might be they might be cheap, but they're not very good. Here we go, Wicked Polly. Young people who delight in sin I'll tell you what has lately been A lady who was young and fair She died in sin and sad despair She'd go to frolics, dance and play In spite of all her friends would say I'll turn to God when I get old He will then redeem my soul One Friday she was taken ill A stubborn heart began to yield Mother did you pray for Wicked daughter in eternity My earthly father fed me well You're bound for heaven and I for hell When I am gone, remember me Your wicked daughter in eternity She died. She rang her hand. She screamed and cried. The fiery wrath began to roll. She was a lost and ruined soul. Young people who delight in sin, I'll tell you what has lately been. A lady who was young and fair, she died in sin and sad. Died in sin and sad despair.
Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to go and shoot. Okay, thanks very much. And now I'd like to take, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to the lovely Karen Tweed. Yay! So I'm going to do your little solo. And uh, after that fantastic co song of Kevin's. Um, and I'm going to play a tune that I wrote for my mother some time ago. My mum was from County Kerry in Ireland. Very, oh, I've got someone from County Kerry in. Very good. Um, she was from Bally Bunyan, County Kerry. <laughs> Another Kerry one, or you're from Cork? Oh, brilliant. That's literally five miles down the road, isn't it? Wow. Well, every year, um, she, my mum married um, my father who came from London, and we settled in Northamptonshire. So every year we would go to um, Hollyhead to catch the boat to go to Ireland to see all the Irish relatives. And my mum was always known as Dot Tweed to everybody. Um, everybody knew her as Dot until she got on that boat to Ireland and then she suddenly became Nora. And nothing was mentioned about this. It would just change and she would remain Nora for the rest of the holiday. Everybody would call her Nora, including my dad. And uh, we'd stay there for a couple of weeks and then we come back and we get on the boat and then she became Dot again. <laughs> and uh, so I thought, right, I'm, I want to find out what's the right name here. So I said to her, um, what's your real name? Because I was about eight or nine at the time and I thought, this is really weird. Um, I said, is it Dot or is it Nora? And she said, well, when I met your dad on the dance floor in North London all those years ago, he thought I was so cute because he was six foot three and she was four foot eleven. He called her Dot. And I was like, no, oh, how romantic, how fantastic, you know, pet name. And uh, so I said, all oh, right, so your name is actually Nora. And she said, no. <laughs> and it turns out that her real name was Honoria McNamara, which I think is a fantastic name. But as all of her friends were called Kitty or Mary, she wasn't really impressed with that name. It was way too over the top. So she was always trying to find um, a shorter name. And Nora was the best she came up with. And she says, so when I met your dad in London, and he called me Dot and gave me an even shorter name, she thought, I'll have him. <laughs> and uh, so they uh, got married and were married for 53 years. And uh, sadly, she died a few years ago. And the same year that she died, me and my dad decided we'd go to Ireland and go to all the old haunts that we used to go to when I was a kid. And it was at the time they were having a big security alert on with all the airlines you and your you know, exact name in your passport had to be exactly the same as on your ticket. Um, so I just rang my dad because I was booking the flights and I said, Dad, I just want to check your passport. So it's Leslie Tweed. And he said, no. <laughs> so I said, right, so is there a middle name or, a, you know, initial? And he said, no, Karen, my name's not Leslie. <laughs> and this is the first I knew about this. And I said, so what's your name? He said, Charles. <laughs> That's all you need to know about my family. It gets worse after that. <laughs> So uh, I'll play you Miss Honoria McNamara Ballybunion, because that's her name, and that's where she came from, and uh, a couple of polkas after that. That's what they play in Ballyduff and Ballybunion and places like that, isn't it? <laughs>
Thank you very much. Please welcome back Mr. Kevin Dempsey. <laughs> okay, it's uh, freezing out there where we are. So you come out here and it's kind of nice and warm mm. and then the instrument goes bananas. So it's my excuse. Anyway, so we're going to we're going to carry on with the uh, a tune and a song. The first tune is a, a little instrumental called uh, Frank Dempsey's Lament and uh, then we play a song called You Can Let Go Now. It's a bit miserable this bit but that's alright. It's been cheerful up till now. Isn't it? So Oh, 
It was so right, it was so wrong Almost at the same time The pain and ache a heart can take No one really knows So when the It's wrong for me to cling to you Somehow I just needed time What was to be It's not like me To hold somebody down But I was tossed I love I almost never came down Only to land Love's no longer found And I'm no longer bound And I can So, it's such a great honour to play with Kevin Dempsey. He's absolutely fantastic. Don't you think he's just brilliant? You can tell it's a new partnership, can't you? <laughs> it's not that new. <laughs> going to do one of Kevin's songs now called Living on Dreams. And, uh, and there's a tune in the middle of it that we wrote together. Called? Called? 33. Oh, yes. Called The 33. Wherever you go, you'll get there on time 
Cause two questions take you high or low Some take forever Cause nobody knows Some tell you truly that it's mine or mine Sundials in the moonlight Tell the wrong time and it's alright Now To make a fool of you somehow But it's alright If you're living on dreams I want you to tell me I just want to know You have the power of love Like I heard on the radio I want you to tell me I just want to know You have the power of love Like I voice on the radio We've got the powerful light Powerful food Powerful warmth We've got the power to move Hungry world with like a change of heart Cause it's living on dreams While the light gets dark And it's alright now Make a fool of you somehow But it's alright If you're living on dreams Yeah, yeah, yeah We're living on We're going to play you one more uh, set to end this little uh, spasm. So, uh, <laughs> and then there'll be an interval, and then we, I don't know what's happening actually, the interval where you can buy all those lovely CDs, and then, uh, and then I don't know what's going to happen. So, but we'll be back at some point. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I heard this uh, joke, so I'm just going to tell you this uh, a quick joke. It made me laugh. I don't know if it'll make you laugh, but it. Uh, certainly made me laugh, about th this woman who'd got to uh, stop me, if you've heard it. This woman had got a dog, and she noticed, uh, she really loved this dog, and she noticed that uh, it kept scratching its ear. Just one day she'd noticed it was scratching its ear a lot. So uh, she had a look at this dog's ear, and it was really red inside its ear, really looked, uh, whatever, infected or whatever. So uh, she took it to the vet, and the vet had a look in his ear and said, yeah, well, you're right, it's got an ear infection. And it's caused by the hairs in its ears kind of growing back in on themselves a bit. And that's whatever, that's what's caused this. So what you need, I can give you a course of antibiotics, but what you need to do is uh, get rid of the hair in its ears. And the easiest way to do that is just go to a, I could write you a prescription, but it would be more expensive than if you just go and buy some stuff that you remove hair with. I don't really need any, but what do you call it? What do you call that stuff? What was that? Imac. Imac. Right, so go to, go to a chemist and uh, buy some Imac, some hair removal cream. So she goes to the, the chemist, the pharmacy, and she says to the guy, 
uh, can I have some uh, imac, please? You know, I just got to. Anyway, so he said, well, if you put it on your legs, uh, just put it on, but don't don't shower for a, a day or so. She said, no, no, it's not for it's not for my legs. He said, well, if you're going to use it into your arms, uh, you know, the same thing, just uh, leave it on for a couple of days. And she said, no, 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 it's not uh, for my legs or my arms, it's for my schnauzer. And he said, well, in that case, uh, just don't ride your bike for a week. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, so there you go. So all good fun. And this, uh, two tunes. The first tune is called Jenny Picking Cockles, which is a, a reel from County Clare. And then we're going to play, well, you know about the next one. It's called Bioga. Yeah, and it's written by a fantastic accordion player called Shauna Graham. And he's from the group called Bioga. And the group was named after this tune. And when you hear it, you'll realise why. Thank you very much. See you in the second half. Thank you. Once again, Kevin Dempsey and Karen Tweed. <laughs> we'll, um, we'll take our usual 20-minute break and we'll see you soon. <laughs>